All right. Hello. Welcome back. Sorry for the confusing title. Um, I was expecting to do Midweek Magic today. And for some, some reason, it is not out. So we'll see if it comes out later or uh, hits tomorrow. But we will be aiming to do the Midweek Magic. Uh, you might have noticed my gems have taken a hit. I spent a bunch on cosmetics and decided to buy the Mastery Pass. So I have spent a lot of orbs picking up some of the cosmetics. I did kind of skip over the Enduring and the Overlords in the cosmetics because that's what I mostly bought from the store. So that's kind of what I got going on. Um, but yeah, since there is no midweek magic to do, we are going to do some premier draft. Duskmorn and use up this draft token. See if we can't convert this back into some gems. Uh, it might be a little difficult today actually getting things together just because the alchemy set has come out. I know some people do jump ship to alchemy to get some of that to just have a different draft experience than what the set is offering. I'm more interested in full set complete and I don't generally play with alchemy cards so we'll see if that changes in the future with us continuing to try to draft three to four times a week. Oh man. Well, that's not a good sign. Usually we're waiting on one, we're waiting on two. Uh, one at the last second. Who do you think you are, man? Really? Very last second we're going to go? I thought we were going to get a new group. All right. I mean, pack one, pick one. Balustrade Worm seems really good here. Going rooms. Getting blue removal. Probably another good good starting point. This one kind of throws you into delirium, whether you're green black or green red or whatever you want to do for that. It does put you in delirium. I mean, the worm here does want to put us into delirium as well, and there are two really good red green delirium cards here. It is really hard to pick one over the other. Do I want the removal? Do I want the artifact creature? I think I might just take removal here. They're, they're both uncommon. They're both hard to come by. We doubt one or the other is going to wheel. As a matter of fact, that's probably the next pick out of this pack is that worker bulk. All right. Well, we could go with the green black route. Removal, removal. Pretty decent start there. Uh, the most valuable slayer in our deck will probably be pretty good as long as we can kept, keep up with some bodies. But having the worm is a very good start. whole lot going on here for us. Even the Skin Ripper, not really the route we want to be going down. The Defiant Survivor is okay. It is in our main color of green. So we're not splashing towards red or black just yet. We can find a couple of those uh, centipedes. That'll be good. That'll help with the fixing. 
But Manifest Dread is really good for Delirium since you're throwing things away. It's just a matter of being able to tap down the Defiant Survivor. Interesting. Well, we could go the Green Black Reanimator out with the Defiled Crypt. I definitely like the Defiled Crypt. Making two twos and getting something back. It's very strong. with delirium we could just get the resurrected cultist uh, I kind of like staying on color here die a reanimation spell we're gonna kill spell at instant speed our most valuable slayer honestly we don't really have a whole lot in way of reanimation but we don't really have good bodies for the valuable slayer either We are definitely more black at this point, so maybe I'll pick up the reanimation spell. Yeah, and then we're gonna probably want, oh, this will help with delirium. Undirected cultist would probably be a good pickup for us. I don't know if we'll end up splashing bestie beat down here, but it looks like we might be the green black the delirium deck. Black lands, we could do the sacrifice to exile something. This has been pretty decent. But the mana fixing is always good. Uh, we were gonna take the removal here since we're probably gonna be giving this one up. Um, I'm just gonna take a two drop here. I don't expect to get much out of it, even if we do play it. Uh, that's what we seem to be getting in pack one here, is some, some Golgari action, so... We'll see if it continues. Mm, do I want to spec on the splash land for red? Or do we just want to take another removal spell? Maybe we just take another removal spell. Probably not going to play Fanatic of Strength. The Fanatic Strength, we might uh, give into violence the same. Found footage does help with delirium. I mean, here our best pick is the spider. As much as I want the spine seeker centipede. A betrayer's bargain could be good too, but then that would start putting me more into a red black deck, splashing green. I think we just take the, the Brood Spinner. It's a good two drop. 
Enables our game plan. Uh, fear of exposure is okay. I almost want the Wayward Watchdog more, but this is our enchantment creature, which will help with Delirium. Terramorphic also lets us relook at Splashing Red. Okay. Um, rats are good. Roots are all right. What's this? Playlands. For five, we can cast spells out of our graveyard. We're not really looking to do that, I don't think. I might take the dog here and see if the drag wheels. We'll see if anybody else is in green black or even thinking about it. Uh, mana fix, manifest, no, delirium payoff, yes. Yeah, we're, we're, looking, we're looking like we're Golgari delirium for sure. Second survivor. I can't be upset about that. Not reasonably. Really, the zealot, huh? No, I don't want to get crazy with the mana fixing for red. I think I'm just going to take the black two drop. Mm, we could even do a snatcher. No, I want the two drop. The, the deck is needing the early game. The late game stuff is already there. Uh, we could take... This terrible card called Winter. <clears throat> I don't know that we would play it. Yeah. Oh, Peggy Bank. Woods. Oh, I might pick up a Chandelier here. Just having one Chandelier and a Defiled Crip, I think, is a. Uh, an okay plan B game plan, but just okay. Um, and we could take the keys as an artifact and a way to mana fix over the found footage. I don't hate that idea. Adds to delirium. Allows us to really consider looking at some of these red splashes. I think one say its name is okay. It's definitely something we want to be doing. There's been some definite good red black stuff going by for sure. But I don't know that the deck itself is there. I haven't seen the mirths or any of the, the big payoffs like that. And see, here we are, we're getting the tenacity. So we could go for, yeah, Red Splash. There's the, definitely the Red Splash has been there. And there's been a couple of lands. There's been some good spells. Do we really have any life gain going on, though? We don't. As fun as that card is, there's no life gain in it for us. I'm 
almost better taking the land. Yeah. Withering Torment. It's probably the pick here. Uh, cultist. Hand that feeds another turn inside out. All don't seem bad. Doesn't seem bad. Let me get a flesh brewer. That's it. <laughs> that does seem kind of bad. Yeah, that seems terrible. Hey, let's play a game for the Delirium deck. It's really good. Just a straight murder. Ugh. There's just a monstrous emergence. I might just take emergence here because it's cheap. Uh, if it's that's the case, I should be taking murder. I hope that let's play wheels. What is this? All right, come back wrong. I'm not upset by it. it can't be blocked by glimmers. It's tapped. Search your library, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Interesting. Now I'm going to take the comeback wrong. It's removal. Hey, speaking of removal. And I uh, haven't collected all of them, so. Asthma Demon. Snatcher for us here. Or I'd rather have a 7 6 Trampler. Uh, I think the, the ward on that is, is good enough. Um, probably the two drop here. No. I want to be able to destroy a room. One Anthropede for room destruction seems okay here. Yeah, we're just going to grab the Cultist. We're going to cut our Red Splash. Fear the Dark. I hope we don't have to play you. Yeah, no, black is is not a favorable color to be in in this set. Not unless like you're in black and you're the only one in black, then you can kind of put a deck together. But if you're fighting over black, you're fighting over the weakest color, and you're not going to get rewarded for it. Footage, give me my land. Man, it's all the way over there. Oh. There we go. are my top ends. Liver die is good, Defile Crypt is great. Got a good amount of artifact creatures. Removal, removal, comes back. Like this thing, being able to come back, even just the once with the finality counter and the Defiled Crypt is gonna be fun. Wild. All right. There's a lot of good cards here. I don't know what I want to cut. 
We don't really have a good one drop with the final vengeance being able to exile things, but we need things to sacrifice. We don't really have too many good ways to sacrifice things. How many enchantments do we have? Four? Leech, you're getting cut. You're not worth it. The rat is better. Removal. 2-2 two, two death touch. A say its name is fine. Watchdog, brood spinner. Yeah, you're all good. Um, we've only got the two artifacts. Now there's a third. The wicker thresher here. Three artifacts for delirium. <laughs> four enchantments for delirium so we're really going to be banking on the like instances and sorceries sacrifice a creature or an enchantment so we can sacrifice nowhere to run to final vengeance that's pretty good sixteen creatures it's a good amount Creature. Wow. Just green creatures, black removal, huh? He's won't need. Only has one. That nah, gives us two artifacts for delirium. Yeah, we're gonna have trouble hitting delirium in this deck. Wild. Wild. We're gonna get back a creature or a land. You get back just about everything. Get rid of delirium. So I think we're gonna get rid of the parting. drops unless it's removal that's unfortunate that's very unfortunate We're gonna get rid of one comeback wrong, one final vengeance, and the anthropede. Man, that looks awful. <laughs> this looks just awful. But those are my 40. <laughs> Flesh Brewer and Rat. We got two two drops. We can play it. Second black gets us both. Uh, Greenland gets us the long neck. So we'll keep. There's that. 
probably lead off with the, the flesh burrower here. I won't trade, you're crazy. You think I won't trade, you're crazy. Alright, defiant survivor, that's pretty cool. If we find a fourth land, we can take care of whatever they put in its way. We can start manifesting. You know, or they can use a removal spell on it. Either one. Night Mayhem. Perfect. Well, I shouldn't say perfect, but that's that's cool. I'm okay with that. Manifest. We would. We would. Uh, we'll put the chandelier down, I guess. And... Want the long neck? That's dangerous. That is dangerous. Um, we ball. Uh huh. Let's see what your blocks look like. Hmm. Uh, I was really hoping to kill this thing. But I want my survivor to survive. We have two of them. We've got two of them. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, we can get it back if we really want to. What is this? <laughs> well, that's not great. That is not great at all. Well, we need two blockers because of the baseball bat. Either one of those dying gives us delirium. Great. Fear of exposure. Okay. Resolve. And then we're going to go to combat. Um, before combat, I think I just, no, no, that's fine. Go to combat. Okay. Which one are you tapping down? Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm get delirium. Oh no, you don't get delirium. You have too many artifacts in there already, huh? All right, all right. Um, where do we go from here? I think here it is cultist and rat. Hmm. 
No attacks. We've worn down your hand. We're we're both top deck in here. That's fine. You get delirium. I've got an engine in my hand. We're about to start making two twos galore on you. Um, I'm willing to give up both of my creatures. Double tap my black mana. Uh, what are we gonna get back? I think we get back the Defiant Survivor. Yeah. Do you want to attack with the rat? Do you want to trade and give me another 2-2? Two -two? You do? Perfect. Thank you. That was appreciated. Let's clean up your board. Huh. That land could have been my sixth mana to recast the Chandelier, but I think I'm just going to live or die it. <laughs> Altanac. That is a really good card. What if I just murder it? And we turn up the Defiant Survivor and hit you for five and manifest. I mean, I would have even used Live or Die if I needed to. A lot of damage. All right, we got there. <laughs> You're not beating this. That is so gross. Oh, we can cast survivors still. Good game. Glad I picked up murder because if that would have been let's play a game, it would not have been effective. Yeah, manifesting creatures is is super good. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Now the question is, do we cycle this to guarantee the worm, or do we be greedy? We got a couple of turns to figure it out. Aggressive. That's the worm. Cycling Snatcher gets a six for Chandelier. Doesn't help with any delirium because we already have a creature in the graveyard. Honestly, I might just hold out. We've got four, five, six, six. If 
Glattmeister, huh? Mm, yeah, no, I'm gonna hold on to it. It is not worth getting rid of. And we hold up removal, or do we try to put the Defiant Survivor down? I think we just put a body to the board. It's probably gonna die, but not a whole lot we can do about it. All right, I took a turn off, you took a turn off. Interesting. Oh, you die. <laughs> you die immediately. We are not playing around with ghostly dancers. I really wish I would have left up removal so that that didn't happen. Yeah, no, we're, we're just gonna kill this. We're gonna force him to try to block with the 3-1 flyer. Or do you wanna keep it to race me with? Perfect. I'm willing to get the flyer off the board. That's fine. No, come on. This is just like the best rare in the set. Yeah, there's no stopping this thing. If you don't have immediate removal for it, you're you're hosed. Let you have your your win, man. I would like to get that card just once. You know, there's there's a couple of cards I still haven't got to play with in draft. And that is one of them. Ghostly Dancers. Man, what a card. Alright, do we play the creature or do we hold up removal? I think we just play the creature. Go ahead and land cycle. No, no land cycle. Okay. Not really what I want to hit with removal. Not at all.
uh... What else you got? I like that turn. That was a really good turn. Uh, let's cast Fear of Exposure and we'll tap the two extra things here. Play a 5-4 Trample for 4. Then we got Cadaver Lab in Torment. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's not gonna live. That dies. Oh, Death Touch Trample. That's cool. I like that. Alright, no more lands. You did your job, Arena. I need more than five cards to play, please. <laughs> what a top deck. I probably should have attacked in with both and killed it with the Death Touch Trample and held up the murder. Seven, so we can do it all. One, two, three, four. Wild Crypt. Let's get back R22 Death Touch. Let's play R22 Death Touch. What do you got, opponent? I think I have beat your survivor deck. Sure. That, that was not the thing to take. Another baseball bat. I have two creatures. You can only block one. Yeah, good game. You didn't even get to see the removal in my hand. As long as we go 3-3, three, three, we're, we're not going to lose rank. We're not really gaining rank either. Just kind of spinning wheels, but... Uh... That might be okay. This might be okay. get some lands. No lands, okay. Oh, I'm glad I got the thing to kill that, because we don't want to see that happen. Everything in my hand costing five or six is not good.
Another one. Okay, okay. is so bad. Alright, well, we'll say his name. <laughs> I'm gonna go back a land. Play the land. Honestly, we'll unlock. Yeah, hey, grab the bestie. Oh, that only happens once a turn. Waste. Scared. You gonna take two damage? <laughs> You're gonna take two damage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That shouldn't be funny, but that is funny. Um I guess I play my bashful then. That's fine. That's also fine. Swing with your 5-4, yeah. Let me put mine back into the graveyard. More mana. No, don't do that. You want that to discard. You want that to discard. Gonna attack in with both. I want something to discard. We can make insect token creatures of flying. Okay, that's that's fine. No attacks and turn. Yeah, mill a card. That's fine. the mind games you've got a bigger board state but I've got more cards in hand what are we doing oh you're gonna be super sad if that's the only thing you attack in with okay well, uh, let's get back our bestie and then we'll double block here. She manifest. Oh, 
Altanak, huh? That is a little bit of a problem, actually. That is a little bit of a problem. He didn't even say his name once like I did. You get Altanak. How do you not have Delirium? Do the thing. Let me kill it. And we manifest. Yeah, I was gonna say, you really should equip that to the flyer like four turns ago. <laughs> yes, draw that land. Well, that's fine. You're going to move it around? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I think you get to keep that guy for now, that's fine. Oh, uh, well, we lose. <laughs> oh, that's... No, we can't come back from that. I'm sorry. That, wow. I'm going to make four six sixes. Yes, you are. And you're going to draw four cards? Oof. Yeah, no. That, that was huge. Valgavas Onslaught. My God. Unfair. And we can play it. We can play it. <laughs> uh, 
That is my fifth land for the worm. Nah, uh, we're gonna get rid of it. We can we can get the land back with say its name. Yeah, live or die, okay. Seize from slumber my 3-1. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, uh, damn it. There goes the Defiled Crypt. There goes the Defiled Crypt, but we're, we're already up to Delirium, so... I can't be too upset, I guess. Get your double strike down. I'll take four. Nice. Man, blue is just so good in this set. Oh, and I would get the answer to it. That's funny. Well, that is funny. It's a lot of little dudes. Six, seven, eight, nine. There are four more. Look at this. Put it on the battlefield if it's a land. Otherwise, put it into your hand. I don't think I can attack, though. That's just way too much damage coming back. spinner here and try to set up a land oh that sucks all 
All right, we're not dead yet. Go to one, gain two life, go back to three. That is not a land. I really needed a land. Although we're stabilizing, we are stabilizing. This is intense. Intense. No! What are you gonna trap in the screen? The Brood Spinner, that's, that's what I, I would have trapped to. That one to go, and that one goes. I mean, you're getting the one damage in. You tried. You definitely tried. That's funny. That could be the one land that I was looking for. Uh Uh, I think we just play the worm and we attack with the thresher. There we go. Put it to the battlefield. I'm down. Snatcher. I think I still swing. I need to be drawing cards. There we go. And turn. No way! Ah, I got greedy. They had a fear of a mobility. All right, well, good game. Dang. Well, that's two and three. Let's lose in rank. It did feel like a two and three deck, though. That was unfortunate. Damn. Good top deck opponent. Good top deck. Nice. Quick table. Quick table. What a pack we have here. The rare is just a land. We don't really want to set ourselves up for that. So we're looking at the uncommons. Split skin doll and fear of isolation are both good. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> gross, throw it away. Yeah, I wish I could. Like, Judge, can I get a new pack? Do we want the blue flying creature or do we want the white creature that draws cards? Like, that's, that's where we're at. It's one of these two. Nothing else in this pack says take me. Kind of want to do the nightmare over the toy. Yeah, a 2 3 flying for two is better than a 2 1 draw card. That's, that's my decision. That's, that's what we're going with. Veteran Survivor can be okay. Aimless Pool is pretty decent. I definitely like the Razor Ken Horde Collar. Dusty's great for Delirium. Grand Entryway could go the blue-white enchantment route. 
Though if I'm gonna do that, I should probably pick up a locker room just to draw cards, huh? Blue card, red card. I think we just stick to blue for now. Being able to bounce something and then later draw cards is, is pretty decent. Whoa, come back, bird. We could potentially bounce their one drop and to bounce this back into our hand for turn two. That's that's interesting. I mean, these are rare, and it sets us into the blue-black enchantments. I like that better than I like the survivor. that many cards put any number of legendary or enchantment cards from among them into my hand if I don't he gets one plus one rat and ninja wizard what a crazy creature type that is rat and ninja wizard all right, well, we don't want to get locked out of a good deck, so let's pick up the survivor. That's two survivors in a row. necessarily want to be blue black enchantments right away but like even that still looks like a decent start to a uh a deck there so are you just letting it pick for you over here my guy I mean, the Delirium card here can be extremely good. Otherwise, what's the best thing to take here? Flesh Burrower? <laughs> I might take the rare. I don't know that we're going to go that far, but that gives me my set complete on those, so I can play that for standard. Surgical Suite is really good. Fear of Falling is really good. Is Fear of Falling better than Surgical Suite? think for our deck it is. Just barely. Survival, draw, light removal. We're just gonna take the parting here. I'm 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 not liking Nashi. I think we might try to go the uh Simic deck. Another peer past the veil? My god. Uh, we're not going to take it because we don't, that was our fourth, that's set complete. So this is just gems at this point. I kind of want a card that we might play. 
that'll let us push the survivor in. So will this. Um, I mean, none of this really, huh? We might play the Teddy just to keep us on curve. Yeah, none of you get played. You don't get played. I mean, not in this deck. Yeah, I think that Enigma Wield too. It's not a highly sought after card. It can be fun, but... I don't know. It's, it's a little rough sometimes. But if I get to play Survivor on three and then make it attack in and draw a card and manifest, that seems really good. I mean, I have no manifest payoffs. I have no enchantment payoffs. We have nothing going for us. Like, we could take the 3-3 three, three flyer I could take the mana fixing rare land I think the, the greenhouse though is not what we want moldering gem is okay but not really where we want to be first picking out of this pack it should be the key bearer or the rare land and honestly, I think I'm going to take the rare land on the chance that we get that 3-4 haste survivor that puts counters on lands and then we can have a hexproof land. See, like optimistic scavenger right now, we just pivot into the blue-white deck. Oh, it'd be so good. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. We're, we're not going to be in the green. We're, we're going to pivot blue-white. Yeah, trapped in the screen. Like, there's some really good stuff, but I think getting the one drop early is, is better. We would get the analyst after. That's funny. Uh, here it is the grand entryway for what I want to be doing, though. Yeah, we already have a bottomless pool locker room, so I think we go grand entryway. Balloon man, you're so fun. You're not what we are doing, though. Um, we might play the peeper here just because we've got enough enchantments and rooms going. There we go. Cost reduction on the blue-white rooms. Oh, yeah, we made a good pivot. Glimmer Burst, draw cards, make an enchantment, trigger your Eerie. Yeah, this is going to be a good deck. Right, pack two pivot, let's go. We were, we were floundering, we weren't doing the blue-black thing, we weren't doing the green-blue thing. We kind of had half the white-blue thing, so let's just start picking up the good white cards. <laughs> We want a Glimmer Light and a Gremlin Tamer now. Let's go. Let's let's pack three, open up Ghostly Dancers, and be that deck. That's that's what I want. <laughs> Somebody pass me Ghostly Dancers. Oh man, the reanimation target there is huge. We want the blue white land though. 
Vanish from Sight is our pick here. Um, we don't like any of these. Yeah, Fear of Immobility. <laughs> Thanks for beating me down. I appreciate it. Going the other way, you're just struggling, huh, Splicer? There, there was some good white stuff going by, too. Yeah, there was. Yeah, not not really. Not until we hit the scavenger. That was the real big sign for me. Like, white is solid in this set. Blue is solid. Green is solid. Like, there's there's really good colors. There's a lot of fun stuff going on in this set. I mean, we need none of this. I might play a megalodon, but I doubt it. <laughs> it's just a good top end. We'll see. Sprinter. Uh, we want the vessel here. The eerie on this thing is so good. As much as I would like the exercise or the seized, even threats around every corner would play decently. We want the vessel though. 3 2 vigilance that dies and makes a flyer. That's, that's good. Especially if we can pump more counters on them using the optimistic scavenger or the grand entryway. I mean, there's another exercise, but there's also a second fear of falling. You're both good. I gotta take some removal though. I need I need more interaction. And that's premium removal. I doubt fear comes back, but if it does, man. Yeah, I need removal. Yep, you you right. You right. We, we gotta bounce. We got a removal. We got a vanishing. A little bit in the fear. So I mean we've got some temporary stops, but that's about it there. Holy crap. Um, I kind of want the twins, but I also want the board wipe. Unable to, uh, unable to scream is going to be premium removal in this stack if we can even find it. I think people are picking it over some of the commons and rares or uncommons and rares, though. It's that good in this set. Yeah, no, we're not looking to manifest, really. We'll do the split up. There's a Valgavoth! What is this? There's a Valgavoth? <laughs> oh my god. Our best pick here is Vanish from Sight. 
splash black for this triple black card. I think I'm just going to take him because he's a mythic, and I want to play him in standard. Otherwise, like, under the skin would even be a better pick for us than Valgavoth there. Like... Um... I mean, it's not really where we want to be playing the Calamity Prowler, but he is a... Um, makes something unblockable. He triggers our enchantments. <laughs> we don't have a reanimation spell for Valgavoth. That's funny. Um, do I want the second land over fear of immobility? This is pack three already. Yeah, I want the land. Oh, I was going to take Valgavoth whether you said to or not. I mean, reluctant role model. Glimmer Seeker would probably be okay too. Both of these are good for us. I'm going to take the rare though. Get another card set complete. Uh, anything we're looking for, so we'll take the uncommon for gems. Threats around every corner came back. Man, we might splash that, actually. There is potential for that. Okay, we could take Emerge from the Cocoon. <laughs> I just don't have a way to discard Valgavoth. Otherwise, he might get played in this. The only way we could get him into the graveyard is by manifesting him in there. Uh, the twins came back. Okay. Um, how are we doing on creatures? 11. He's just staring at me like, you know you want to. Like, yes, I do, Valgavoth. I really, really do. I mean, we got a good amount of enchantments. Survivor, coordinated clobbering... Strength might even be okay because it's an enchantment aura. Daggermaw is a emerged target, and honestly, like fear of falling, fear of immobility is an okay retarget. Willing Vessel would be okay. I don't think we want the Enigma. Yeah, we just did not get enough synergy to make this work. This is going to be another one of those decks. Like having the layer splashing for any of our colors is okay. But it enters tapped. I don't like that. I'm really about to play two chandeliers and a teddy bear to make this deck work. Seventeen lands. Got a lot of flying stuff going on. 
Scavenger is okay, but we didn't get any of the other really good blue white payoffs. Splash green, we get strength, survivor, and threats. A three, a three, and a four drop. How many ways did we get to manifest? Three, four, that's not enough for Valgavoth. This is fun as the idea of manifesting him and emerging him is. Uh, I think we just we just run it where it is, just just like this. These these last couple of drafts have hurt a little bit, and that the decks haven't been very good, but they've been nice in that uh, I've picked up some decent rares per set completion. But yeah, I don't I don't think we want the green splash. There's not enough manifest to even consider getting Valgavoth in there. Don't do anything until turn four. I mean, it's not my favorite hand, but we will keep it. I guess. Alright. I mean, you don't have to, opponent. You can just land cycle. That'd be cool, too. the vessel. Island would be really cool. That's too much to ask for. going on 17 lands doing the thing there we no i need another island This is silly, and I should not be doing this. This is silly, and I should not be doing this. silly and I should not have been doing that. 
<laughs> I don't know if that was a big brain play. That was that was a desperate play. That's what that was. <laughs> play this yeah yeah you keep looking at my stuff that's fine um, return up to one target creature to its owner's hand it's an instant Let's do just that and get some damage in. No blocks. Okay. I'm going to end the turn two then. No blocks. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll take three. What else are you doing? My turn. All right, well, we're gonna draw cards. We, we want a Glimmer Burst then. Finally, another island. Hmm. No, that's this, okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna cast the bottomless pool. Um, that's fine. Make it go away. Do you want that to be the next thing you draw? I know I wouldn't. Yeah, on bottom. Um... We're gonna hit for three, put them to 12. They're gonna gain two, go to 14. So this can't be cast untapped next turn. But I need an untapped land, don't I? All right, we'll keep it. Oh, uh, that's not going to help you. It's time to trade it in. I guess I could have taken that damage, been able to abandon. 
I almost want to go chandelier first. Another counter spell. Alright, well. You have got it, my friend. Is that both of them? No, I've got one more, so that'll be nice. I mean, they gotta do something about this spirit, or they die in two turns anyway. Amazing. Your vigilance, so you'll never tap. Get in for six unblockable, put you to two. Flip it up. I don't even know how we did that. That one's wild. <laughs> it's all because I bounced an island, huh? That was that was a crazy play. Maybe it was big brained. Maybe it was big brained. gonna be like that, huh? This is a trap, right? I have to mulligan this. There's no way, even though I got the best one drop. I don't have the, the blue for the two drops. Yeah, we have to do that. Um, we're just gonna put back the teddy bear. Keeper. I almost want a fear of isolation, the, the twins there. that damage while you can. Yeah, lose two life, draw some cards. That's cool. That 
is cool. Dust. I mean, the fear of falling. <laughs> We got, a, we got a shot here. We'll start swinging next turn, I think, depending on uh, how this plays out. On this pool. That's fine. What are you gonna kill? The twins? Okay, that's fine. Researcher. Okay. Um. Yeah, you kind of made me need to do this now, didn't you? Do the thing with that touch. That's fine. Swing for four. That's fine. And dies. Okay, and the chandelier is here. That's good. One, we can bottomless pool. We can just get rid of that. I wonder if I go there, we can return this. One we'll bottomless pool again. Right, and you can replay that for your next turn too while you're at it. And control decks are so weird. Fear of immortality, that's fine. Researcher, it's fine. It's not worth it just yet. It's not worth it just yet. Swing with your flying death touch lifelink. Ooh, okay. Okay. Might be wrong. It might might worth be doing.
infinity. Cost five to unlock that. That's so bad. Man, you just have it all, don't you? Zach, what are you doing to me right now? Play the meat locker, tap down the 4 4. Get your swing in. I'm, I'm chumping and I'm chumping. Like. <laughs> the mine skinner? That is gross. That, that's not at all what I want to see this turn, but thank you. Um, where are we at? We're at 20 cards. So, two turns for the unblockable to kill us. We can Glimmer and Ghost and block nothing. That's fun. Yeah, I think we lost. They just had the answer, and I could not get anything to stick to the board. Everything played got removed. Amazing. can do the things so we're gonna we're gonna play it wow no hesitation just get it out of here have to miss a land drop again to do the thing? Alright, well. Play it uh, back on white, I guess. Time walk myself. Now you're the player who got to go first. <laughs> really? It's pretty good. Pretty good.
excuse me? Oh. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh my god. What? Alright, well, no, we're we're done. That that's that's game. <laughs> Today is just not the day for drafting. Everybody's moved on to alchemy. Jesus. That was fun to watch, says the Boros player. <laughs> if it's good, it's good. Yeah, no, absolutely. That is not good. I mean, that's not really good either. Hey, I knew I built a bad deck, but holy crap. give me the chance to draw. I'm gonna take my chance to draw. Why? Why we gotta be like this? This is not how I wanted this to go. What else are you doing? What is going on today, man? Everybody just has everything, just the whole way through. Like, ridiculous. Why? Are you planning to kill your own creature? I didn't think so. That was silly. OK. 
Okay. We might get out of this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will kill your monkey. Like, no problem. Draw something else. Perfect. What is the play here? I still think I'm supposed to keep you locked down. I'm not worried about the Slayer too much at the moment. Even better. put counters on things, will it matter? There's a really good chance at this. We might actually win this one. Oh, cool. Alright. Swing both. Swing both. Oh, this is not looking good. good at all. This room is insane for Boros. Just draw an extra card. Isolation. All right, this this is our play. We're gonna we're gonna settling twins. Let them do whatever. Ghost. So the thing is, is if I blow up, you're gonna kill my Calamity Prowler, right? Like that's that's fine. So we're gonna destroy all untapped creatures. Four, five, six, seven. We need to draw a card to do both next turn. Maybe it's just friendly ghosts then. Friendly ghosts. Leave that out. You get to draw two. You get to tap something down. Glass 
works. All right, kill my ghost. That's fine. Are you gonna lock down the twins? That's also fine. You make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and this, this, this turn's huge though. Because we're gonna get to go Scavenger, Fear, you turn the Rotunda, give the Scavenger one plus one. I think we grind Entry here. Yep, counter, counter, we'll go here and here. That was pretty cool. I was thinking about bouncing the twins, but uh, I like that better. If they get the thing that says they win, I'm gonna be a little upset. So we got and a FOMO, huh? Interesting. turn. But if you make fear of missing out on blockable, you swing in for what, four? Three, four, five, six, seven. Use this to tap at that. We've got two more attackers. Let's draw a good card. Glimmer Burst is good, but that is... Mm. One to take five damage and one can't block, so now they get in four. Uh, this is close. I need to live. Yeah. What else do you have? Okay. 
get in again for two. Oh man, I'm glad I blocked the two damage and not the one. Good game, guy. That was so close. So close. By one. Woo. Two and two. Man, these games have been dragging. I thought that was like game five. Uh. Man, with Boros, at least you either win fast or lose fast. Come on, Arena. It's supposed to be best of one with the hand smoother even, and you're just messing it up. Okay. Give you flying, like you're a cheerleader. Okay. Can we just take you out of the picture? Honestly, that's a really good card for me to have on top. Um, never reluctant role model or another creature you control dies. If it had counters on it, put those counters onto one target creature. So even if they do kill the role model, we can move it over to the vessel. That's so good. This is what this deck is supposed to look like. <laughs> Something a little more like this. Reluctant role model is just gonna win this game single handedly, huh? No, my enchantment. Let's draw a card. You and me. It's not what I wanted to see.
Well, this is kind of shitty because I want to use it to blow that up. But if I do that, they're definitely blocking. I mean, they have to block. Make a 2 2 flyer. Oh! Then we'll re-emerge the unwilling vessel. We are at 32 life. And now if they kill the reluctant role model, he's got seven counters on it that go onto the unwilling vessel. Good game. <laughs> All right, three and two. This is even. We need to win one more so that we didn't lose any rank today. I don't want to be down one pip today. That's that's a little rough. You know what? We're done with this stuff. If this is how we lose, this is how we lose. This, this is getting out of hand. What is this arena? This is not a curve. It's so bad, come on. All right, Mardu, twins. Get a twins of our own that we can't do anything with. Oh man, kind of glad we did that. That would have been a beater next turn. Uh, so bad. Well, at least we get a board wipe. But we are going to lose two mana screw. Hey. Everyone you don't kill. Oh, I'm blocking. Come on. Keep that board clear. We'll, we'll 
play a 5-5. Five, five. Or a 4-4 four, four flying for 5. You've got removal for it. Okay. Um... That's an instant. That could be good. Play a Prowler. Probably should have saved my Eerie Trigger and played the Ghost first, but... Manifest Dread. This unlocked before I start like fear and swinging, but unlocking that costs so much. That's fine. Do it. Yes. Go ahead, put it back on top. That's exactly what I want. Um, here, I think we unlock. Swing, draw, nice. It's a shame this is a sorcery. But you are, oh, seized. I was not expecting that. Exercise, excellent. Go ahead, trapped it. Trapped it in the screen, please, opponent. Attack in the box. That is not trapping anything anywhere. Sheltered by ghosts. Okay. Okay. Have removal, so we don't want to. Of 
put all our eggs in one basket, so to speak. Trapped. I'm gonna take the vessel, that's fine. That is fine, I think. back foot but we're we're trying uh, no I was exiled huh That's not good. I could get fear of falling back. That might be okay. This might be okay. So you're going to gain 8 life back up to 20. That's actually pretty good. Let me sack it. And then I get that back. And now look who's tapped down. Oh, and let's buff this one. I mean, that's not great, but we get to attack with literally everything and take all those abilities away. Yeah. All right, what else you got, opponent? I'm not out of this. Unless you have a 4-4 haste, make a gremlin. Holy crap, what a game that was. That's a uh, four though, and that puts us right back where we started. Do we gain any pips of rank today? <laughs> Arena. I want to play magic today, please and thank you. wife will help us come back from being behind if we get to cast it if if is good all right role model
Don't play anything. Vicious clown. how this is playing out. <laughs> does it do three damage Kill the scavenger. Savior of the small. Okay. Okay. draw a land. I mean, that doesn't really help you a whole lot. What do I want back? I don't really want any of that back, huh? can kill one thing opponent night mayhem okay but why didn't you attack with the five five yeah, I see it. It doesn't have reach. I'm not scared. You're scared. There we go. Richie Poo. Alright. This, this deck has swung back all the way around and made me gain rank today. Even the worst Azorius deck I have drafted is a good deck. Like, man, just blue-white is really good. Of 
Cordo Calls. Yeah, we've played a couple of times, buddy. I'm glad to see you're in Mythic. Congratulations. Um... Awful, just awful. You would. Oh, really? Well, let's see what happens if I just put it back. Not a whole lot, huh? All right, well, let's get the thing. I think we want to give it flying first, and then we'll play a peeper. All right, Corda calls. Ship, okay. My guy, okay. Nah, I don't. I don't like that. We're we're just gonna do the thing. Give me back my my thing to manifest. Yeah, that's that's what we're putting down. Ivor. Get in. Oh, do it. Do it. You know you want to. Come on, Cord. Okay, what do we tap him down? Interesting. Cracking a land, or you got another color? Glimmer light, huh? What if we just make that go away? All right now. Living phone. This is so good. This is so good. 
Okay, so we're just gonna next, and we're gonna choose to attack with both of our creatures. And like, you do the thing, that's fine. Okay, we ready? Because we're just gonna tap him for mana, and then we're gonna split up and destroy all untapped creatures. That right there is a four for one. Your go. I did see the Toby get put into their hand, but I wasn't going to have another opportunity like that. Yeah, draw and discard, because Toby's not it, is it? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, we unlock when we attack. Go to four, we draw a card. Even if you kill my four, four, I've got four unblockable damage next turn. Man, we're not even diamond, we're in platinum. Come on. Oh, you have something? <laughs> and that feels good right there. Hey, Platinum Tier 2. We're halfway through it. Uh, ooh, final boss. And even if we lose this match to final boss, we get to... Uh, we have a little bit of rank protection. I don't think we fall back into plat three right away. I do think it takes a, a game or two. Who else are you gonna pair me up against? Another mythic player? I mean, it's not the best. it's just a diamond player this time not somebody in mythic all right vessel for the bit we can. We'll end the turn. Really like 
Maybe another blue mana. Well, that's not how that was supposed to go. Go fear returning the bounce spell. I guess we play a role model. And no attacks, not this time. Let's see what else you got. Let's see what else you have. Burst, all right. Hey, it's another island. That means we can do two things. Get that out of here. Uh, flying. And I think we do settle the twins. Oh, fear of falling. Sorry we have to give up the other thing, but that puts us at what? Eight flying next turn? Okay. Do you think it's just turn this face up and swing? Swing. Let me click the button. That was fine. Again, <laughs> you gonna do the drowner, or are you gonna vanish from sight? Vanish from sight. The role model is good, but I do think they need to flood pits. They can't really do both. They might have to get rid of the role model now. Or not. So what if we just exile that? What? We did it with this deck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap. Those first two losses were so intense. That's, that's seven wins, though. Seven wins, two losses. Look at this thing. This is not at all a good Azorius deck. But man, did it get there off of our three drops, huh? The split up and the unwilling vessel, I feel like were the two cards that did the most work in this. Holy crap.
crapped. <laughs> it got napped, wake up, and I trophy, right? That's how I was feeling. Like, <laughs> this is that same draft. There's the Valgavoth in there. Like, oh my god. That was so good. And we even beat a mythic player, like 339 or something like that. Oh, man. All right. All right. I will take it. That that definitely makes up for that first draft that I did. Holy crap. So that was that was pretty cool actually. I can't believe we got there. Let me open up some alchemy cards. No, how about we give you a friggin' rare mythic wild card? Yeah, alright, thanks. That's, ah, that's so good. All right, we might take a quick break real hit real quick, but after that trophy, I I might come back and uh do another one. <laughs> that was good. That was really good.
All right, good break. And we're back. Yes, confirm. I would like to play again. Um, ooh. There's a couple of good options here, both in Wicker Folk and the Undead Sprinter. I do think we're going to take the rare. And we're going to keep an eye on the, uh, the Red Black Sacrifice deck. And keeping an eye on it is great, as we get both of the cards that you kind of want to steal your opponent's creatures, sack your opponent's creatures, so... Both of these are really good. I think we want to take the Sacrifice effects first. Oh no, this is just a destroy. This is not the card I'm thinking of. I still think we take the black removal here. Yeah, we're going to take the black removal first. There's, there's the Boros Uncommon. We can pick that up. There's not anything else. Uh, I guess the Innocuous Rat would be good for the Sacrifice stack, but we don't want to marry to it just yet. And get rewarded for getting just the best card in the pack. And this is a toss up here. Altamac or the Stick Twister. Altamac is definitely a beater and his target me draw a card effect is nice because if they do remove it, you basically get the card back. Stick Twister kind of goes into the two cards we already have though. Neither one of them really goes with Midnight Mayhem. I think we're gonna take the stick twister. We're gonna we're gonna keep ourselves in black. We're, we're already a little bit in there already, so I mean not really anything for Midnight Mayhem. We can just take the black removal spell. Watchdogs is okay. The, the domain is awkwardly okay. Got a good healthy amount of black two drops. We might even splash for the Midnight Mayhem in white just because they're good token fodders for sacrificing. I mean, the Doomsday Excruciator is in our colors. If this is something you want to manifest and flip or reanimate, you don't really want to cast it. Let's play a game is the better card for us, but this helps me set complete. So that's what I'm going to take, just kind of trying to get all the rares and the mythics this set. I mean, best card here is Cheerleader for sure. This one would be playable, and it would allow us to splash just about everything. And I'm, I'm going to bank on some of these weird cards, so we don't really play a whole lot and start messing with them. Uh, speaking of reanimating... Really though, the Twins is probably the best card in the pack. This is really good. Let's just take the gems. Convert. It's a rare. We're not gonna play it, but it's it's a rare, so we're gonna we're gonna take it. Um, commune with evil could be playable in this deck. So we'll we'll take the commune. 
Uh, we'll take the goat. Actually, goat might be a splash. Yeah, we might get we might get the reanimator if we don't get the sacrifice. Oh, speaking of the reanimator, there's the the best reanimation spell for it. This thing will not come back around. I don't have any of these. This thing seems pretty good. Like, should be the best card in the pack. If this was pack one, pick one. This is what we would be taking, and we'd be looking to get into the eerie stuff. But we're, we're taking the reanimation spell here. Victor, we can get three eerie resolves. Oh, second reanimation spell? Okay. <laughs> uh, what else we got? A murder. A murder is pretty good. Exercise could be all right. Actually, we might just take the exercise here and see if murder comes back around. I don't mind, like, I kind of like the reanimator deck. It's pretty fun if you can start getting, like, a oh, mutilator, all right? So, yeah, we, we might just be the reanimator deck. There's a murder. There's a trapped in the screen. We might take that first and see if the murder comes back, just because nobody else really wants to be in black. Um, yeah, I think we take the removal spell. We want to get to as far into the late game as we can. Fear... Yeah, we want the appendage. Getting that surveil on attack is going to be nice. You know, flashes in. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We, we are the reanimator deck. Nobody else is doing reanimation stuff. So we should be able to kind of pick and choose. We got to commune with evil. So dumping things into the yard shouldn't be too big of a deal. Honestly, like Altenac would have been a good target. You're not gonna take him. I will. He's not great, but I don't need to force anything there. Uh... I'm gonna take Terramorphic. I don't think we need off color beaters in our deck. Twins are just great to buy time and possibly manifest a reanimation target. We've got two discards. We've got three ways to reanimate. We don't really have a whole lot of the eerie stuff going on. Whenever an enchantment control enters or whenever you fully unlock a room. As funny as it would be to grab the Hall Creeper. Am I really supposed to take this? Kill something, weaken something? I don't want to, so I'm going to take the rare. Could be our pickup. No, murder 
murder's my pickup. I'm just taking the murder here, aren't I? Nothing to reanimate. We don't really have a whole lot of eerie stuff going on. Oh man. Can't be blocked. Second main phase if it's tapped. Just search for a card and put it into your graveyard. I think I actually take the second stomper here. We could hope that either the loner or the goat wheels. Yeah, I can't be blocked by glimmers. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just read can't be blocked and then did the thing. I, I, I know it can't be blocked by glimmers. I was just skipping ahead to the survival. We still hope it comes back to us. It, it'd make a really good target in our deck. Okay, do I want removal or body? We, we might take fear here. We've got a good amount of removal already. We should grab some bodies, and it's a good reanimation target, or a decent reanimation target, I should say. And we don't really want any of this for our deck, so I'm going to take the rare. And I, I think we want another early game here with the goat, although the carnival lets us bring back our sprinter and our midnight mayhem into the deck as possibilities. I think we take the goat. We definitely want the vital mutilator here, and getting two of those is huge. Amalgam for the surveil. We might just take this for a two drop, and I've got a decent amount of enchantments kind of going. Gems. No, we want the goat. <laughs> Slasher might get played. 4-4 four, four death touch if we kill something, otherwise just a 3-3 three, three death touch for 4 isn't the worst. Oh, is that pack 3 already? Dang. It happened so fast. How many enchantments do we actually have? Four? And we need to play three of them on the same turn? I don't think you're going to see the deck. Sorry, my guy. Two of you. We got two of you. We don't need the spirits. That's five big boys. We only ended up with three reanimation spells, though. That's a little unfortunate. About 17 creatures. We don't really have any tokens that we make, so we do need all of our creatures. Well, not all of them, but we do need them. Right, the animation spells have to stay. Let's just make the removal pile. So removal, 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 removal. Removal. No, we kind of need all of our bits of removal, huh? Vile mutilator doubles up, but um, we've got 
two goats, two amalgams, and a commune with evil for discard outlets. Those aren't too, too bad. We only ended up with four enchantments. Stick Twister is never going to have Delirium. I shouldn't say never. We could do Enchantment, Land, Sorcery, Instant, Creature. Yeah, we could get there. Um, let's put all that back together. Might be able to play one less why one more swamp. Five one drops. We gotta keep all of our twos then. Removal, removal, discard, discard, removal. So that's all gotta stay. Man, so it's like slasher. Twins. I might even remove fear of a mobility. We're just early game bullshit until we can reanimate the baddies and call it good. The black light top end, this guy? 5-5 five, five Death Touch, when he enters or attacks, they lose 2 life, we gain 2 life, and we draw a card. Is, is that the one that you want me to look at? Are we going to get there? We're never going to cast it for seven. We're going to cast it for four or five. It's a reanimation target. You never want to cast it for seven. Same thing with Vile Mutilator. Like we, we never want to cast these five cards. But we have five reanimation spells because this one has got flashback for six. So we're hoping to just discard early. And since this draws and this draws and this removes things... I feel like we got a fighting chance. This would have been a really, really good deck for that Valgavoth. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't get Valgavoth in this draft. <laughs> it's also a shame we didn't get any emerge from the cocoons, because that five mana gain three life reanimate a target is really good. We keep the go. Yeah, I knew you didn't want to trade. gonna get you with this Ooh, you might get me actually yeah you might get me Living phone. There was no attack. Do we fake them out? I mean, seven lands isn't unrealistic. I'm already up to six. <laughs> I'll offer you the trade. 
No, we want that goat. And that goat gets us the mule later into the graveyard. And here I thought you were a reanimator deck and you're playing Boros and Casper. Alright, well, that happens. Not a whole lot I can do about it. Nice if you played an enchantment of sorts. Are you willing to do that for me and play an enchantment? <laughs> no, okay. Twins. There's our seventh land. I'd rather trade and take four than double up. Interesting. What did you manifest? There's that enchantment I wanted him to play. And a Jolly Balloon Man. Huh? And a Jolly Balloon Man. No, I wanted the other one. I wanted the other one. Why did you do it in the reverse order? Arena. The first time you showed it to me, he was the... Oh my god. Your guys' UI and deciding what card goes where is so annoying. I'm so tired of clicking on something for a trigger and it moving across the board and me misclicking things because you feel you need to move everything. Just leave it where it is. I mean, we still lose because they have two flyers. Poop wizard. Man, if I lose, lose the poop wizard. There's the goat. Swamp, thank you. No, 
you don't need that. What are you discarding, Poop Wizard, huh? No locks. Yeah. So it's a good reanimation target. That is a really good reanimation target. Motherfucker. Well, I wanted to commune with evil, but that's too good of a card to just throw away. surveil oh yeah I mean that's not too bad because we can still flash it back um, I think we just leave up instant speed removal here yeah you take three I take one I'll take that trade all day long Wizard. Don't kill it. Another mutilator into the graveyard? Okay. See, and then we're going to make them sacrifice the rat and they get a 2 2 out of it. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. We we get a vile needle later. You can have a two too. And another white to flash that back, okay. to do but it's what I'm gonna do it's dog of us faithful I'm getting back the other vile mutilator that I have and then sacrifice a non-token creature 
Um, no, we need a plane. That's fine. Let's go. Hmm. I guess we just get a removal spell. And throw the rest away. Hey, there's our planes. Pretty good. Planes. I think we go right for mutilator. Make a sacrifice. And for three more. Yeah, I don't mind drawing a goat. Take the damage here. What do you think, opponent? animation deck was better. Alright, one on one. This. This is a dangerous thing. Because I have two things that I want to discard with no discard outlet. But I also have the amalgam in the right. Ugh. No, I, I need to start with a one drop. Yeah, yeah, this that's that is so much better. Follow it up with a commune with evil. Okay. Would you like to trade? Yeah, I didn't think so. now. We got something for my goat. Oh, no way we drew right of a moth this turn, too. That's so good. Do they have the counter spell, though? Uh, I feel like they might, so we're going to hold out. Withering Torment, that's fine. You kill mine, I kill yours. I 
we're just gonna commune here. You go to the graveyard. Got double white, a single black. We got one, two, three, four, five, six lands already. So it's better for me to take the amalgam. And it's something. Oh no, I can't play it this turn. Ah, oh, we were so close. Mutilator first. That's fine. Shroud Stomper next. I can recast it. I literally just played the land. Like, flip it. deck is stupid <laughs> how many times are you gonna kill an opponent Discard the Excruciator. Faithful. Bring back the Doomsday. Swing. That saves you. Yeah, you don't think it saves you either. <laughs> All right, well. Hey, a Galta, I'll take that. That's a cool reward. One more, and we've met my minimum threshold for wins on doing drafts. Like, that three is all I really want. Huh. Oh, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to just to fuck around and find out. One go. Go. Come on, swamp. And that's almost. You can kill one now. Thank you. Can we just draw two swamps now? Swamp, swamp. Yeah. 
Yes, that's one. because I think we want to flash in the Amalgam. Mountain Cycling. Opponents over there playing Grixis. Oh. Actually, you're playing everything, aren't you? I don't see green yet. You're going to let me discard my card for free? Oh, and then we're gonna play the Amalgam. Get an intervention, huh? Let's see what we get. There's the other swamp we want, so we're just gonna remove the target here. Move in for some damage. Bloodsucker, huh? Let's see what we got. File mutilator, perfect. There's our minimum wins. <laughs> See, I'm not casting it for seven, I'm playing it for four. <laughs> and when you do that, it's called cheating. I shouldn't, but that is just too good not to. Okay. Yeah, that is also a really good thing to be discarding. I think we still just do it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to get a reanimate it next turn because I need black, black still anyway, but. Kill my goat. There's one. I think we just kill this while we can. Oh, what a good choice. Ooh. K 
can't believe you got to manifest this. That's crazy. A hey, Terramorphic. That gets me another black. Alright, we're getting there. I think we just exile that for now. Fine, we're just gonna murder it. I'm the reanimator deck, okay? Come on. Spawn hunter. I mean, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Alright, I'm only gonna go stick twister to kill this. I appreciate that, that's cool. Let the stick twister do some work. No. Still can't cast you. Even if we could, they had six flying. Oh, I guess we would have gained two life. Well, no reanimation spells, reanimation targets stuck in hand. That's kind of how that goes. And we got removal on your turn three. We need double black deck. We got we got two planes. That's all we need. I even cut a planes and added another black for this. And you're still oversaturating me. I don't want you to gain the land, so we're just going to kill that now. We just need to get something in the yard. Long neck. No, we didn't want to draw another stomper. What happens if you draw all your reanimation targets? Well, that sucks ass. There's a stick twister. Yeah, that's a swamp. I definitely need that. Just need to get things into the yard. Yeah, that's fine. Dragons fire that. I, I'll trade three damage with you all day long. Right, swamp. Please, something worth reanimating. Yes! Vile Mutilator. Welcome to the team. We just need to draw two lands, and we're set. Yeah, Swine Seeker is good. I mean, it's good, but I don't have anything to reanimate.
Yeah, get back another long neck. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay. All right, the moth does not help in this situation. Here you go. I'll let you stabilize with the long necks. We need one of our four goats. I can do commune with evil. Fear of burning a lot. It's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. It's 8, 11, back on the swing. Yeah, we can't allow that. Come on, I've never wanted mana so bad before. That's a lie. I've wanted mana bad before in a lot of games. Exercise. gonna get there reanimator does it again hey that's a positive score we're four and one four means we made progress even if we lose the next two games oh I guess the next one we're four and two we've lost two already but it's not a three and three run. That's that's all I'm looking for. Four and three and a better. Slow and steady makes the mythic. Um, go go go! Commune with evil. <laughs> go. We might stick Twister actually on turn two, but still. Well, that's not fair. I see it has first strike. I'm not worried. You're worried. Okay. The dog of Oz faithful. What's in there? My hazma demon. No box. I'm gonna see if they'll discard two cards and try and kill the goat. They're definitely gonna reanimate. 
right? It's land, Valgavoth's faithful, reanimate the Miasma Demon. Oh, you're gonna get your three damage in first. Okay. Uh-huh. Miasma, that's fine. Are you discarding one or two? Oh, all right, I can't react to that once I say okay. It's just one, okay, we're fine. Just wow. Needle kid is going to kill me. Got removal? No. Yes, good game. Good game. Just turned to Needlekin and reanimated the thing. Alright, well, again, we're slightly positive. Like where we sit in the rank, right? Where are we at? Two pips in plat two, that's pretty good. Ends in 15 days. Ah. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, open ten. care about that. I want to look at this. And it is so close. 
98% complete. We'll have to grind out though. This is what? 80. This is a. What's what? 120, 240 on the rares? Woo! That's a lot. No commons whatsoever. No mythics either. Just rares and uncommons in the alchemy set, huh? Interesting. I know what this rare is too. It's that blue card that we passed in that draft. Uh, that would have unlocked this and made it gold. We'll get there. We'll get there. We got plenty of time. 27 days. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out. Uh, look forward to that trophy draft on YouTube sometime. And uh, we will we'll do Midweek Magic tomorrow. I know the title said mid Midweek Magic and Drafts, but there's no Midweek Magic. We'll see if there is any Midweek Magic tomorrow. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out. You guys take it easy.